Do 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 Pokemon Tempest. The first Pokemon gym. That's right, the very first one ever constructed in all of Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, they're probably gonna do that at some point. Like, this was the first gym ever made. The main series hasn't already done that. I don't know, I didn't play Arceus. I assume they don't have gyms there, but I also don't know. Oh, I never know. She has a, she has two a little Pokeball between her fingers. I actually never noticed that detail till now. And it's probably cut off by my face, but I wouldn't know. Hey, I don't know until I'm editing. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Tempest. It's good to see you. After last time, I wasn't sure you'd be back after we heard that thing out in the ocean. What was that? To give you a quick mm -hmm. recap, you arrived in Rumbletown and Probably met the legendary. gym leader, Moxie. After helping them out with some team snooze grunts, they invited you to challenge the Rumbletown Pokemon Gym, which is exactly what we're going to do today. Huh. Before we continue, though, if you are Reminds enjoying like this, please do be sure Pokemon to hit the like button or consider supporting the channel on like Patreon. Tree, Links like to that as well as all of the ah, artists involved in the called. series are, of course, always It was a thing at the end game of Emerald that everyone wants back because I think one of them will get 10. I don't remember. Episode adventure. However, this 20 is episodes, eh? Episode, of course, and your first Pokemon. We got a while to go. Today. At the center of Rumble Town, there stands the gym, out the front of which Why is there just a hole in the ground? Ruffian trainers like to battle, oh. putting their Pokemon through scraping okay, and fair. scrapping matches with Pokemon like Snabble and Scrapter. As you head into huh. the dome of the gym, it's a relatively standard stadium, <laughs> and Moxie is there, ready to greet you with two Pokeballs in hand. Well, hey there, you know, she has four on her entire body. Ready for a fight. Threw her on her Allow waist, me to one introduce in hand. myself formally. I am Moxie, the Rumbletown City Gym Leader. When I was young, I went traveling on a Pokemon adventure just like you. I fell and I took an arrow to the knee and became a fierce Pokemon hunter. Life has many twists and turns, and soon I was helping those in need as a well known Pokemon Ranger. Now I'm here, a resident of Silympia. It has long been this one's home, and I've spent this last Tempest looking after the Pokemon in Rumbletown. It's been difficult, given that all fall from Norklo brought Snevel into the area. Yeah. <sighs> Don't people understand you can't just release a new Pokemon species into the wild? Anyway, I'm getting away from myself. <laughs> I know why you're here, champion. This sort of stuff happens in real life almost all the time. Well, not all the time, but surprisingly well, often. Draw your Pokeballs. Let's hear it. Draw out my Pokeballs, okay? Moxie's first Pokemon is Cyrox, and this Pokemon <laughs> is rock fighting type, so I'm still not 100% yep. sure what the gym type is. However, for a first gym, this is a real... Given the arena, outcome. probably if fighting. If you chose Kinfisher, then it's got elements that are both strong and weak to rock, but it does have an edge against the fighting type. That's right. And Ball, sadly, is at disadvantage, yes. so that's a test for a real champion. As per usual. And Quigwana has an advantage over the rock, but won't keep its advantage for long in this battle. Yeah, but the but types, attacks, and knowing your opponent's defensive yeah, strategy it doesn't have a fine type disadvantage to win kind of resist don't fighting any of the actually. other pokemon who have become your companions along the way over the last few episodes this yeah is i don't know I, two I, battles so put your best two forward i probably have to given this i probably would have had to take in the fish <laughs> or something that. you may need to switch and use potions course, i only get two pokeballs cap on into a scrapter you can smash the cyrox to pieces this is a challenge to be sure but for every pokemon currently available to you there will be some sort of advantage and some level of disadvantage play the types well though i wouldn't start with my starter but cyrox. you know i know ironic isn't it ah my cyrox fine we're just getting warmed up go aerodent Ah, what? This nice next name. Pokemon is a rodent, the a fighting flying type. Pokemon, and the evolved form of Rattaroo. This fighting flying really? type jumps up high and uses the winds to travel great distances on the island. It never fails a landing on its powerful feet, and with that, its new ability, Happy Landing, means that high jump, kick, bounce, and fly never miss. Uh -oh. This is our ace Pokemon, That's being a fighting flying type once again is a, it's a tricky type combo. Tuguana yeah. is now at type disadvantage, Emble yep. continues to be neutral, but with mm. the ability to burn, luring those physical moves, that might be useful, and yep. Kingfisher takes advantage in this round, using its flying move to take on the fighting type. So this you use Kingfisher, you kind of have an advantage. Put you in a position to make your way to victory. I mean, you had a disadvantage the last one, but it's like it could go either way. Huh, wow, I guess you really are that strong. <laughs> Congratulations, trainer. Let me award you with your first official coin here in Solympia. And that's right, we get coins. Well, I like the uh, gladiator helmet so but it looks but the jewel in the middle makes it look like it's staring at me like Oh what's that? That's right, you were expecting a badge? Oh no no. I used to collect those too, but this is the way of Solympia. 
These coins are beyond ordinary value. With all of them from the League Challenge, Exchange you them can for take a them to token. the summit of Mount Olympia for a chance to challenge the champion. There are six, or was it seven? Or eight? Honestly, the champion keeps us guessing, <laughs> but right now, you just have one. You should be proud enough of that. I'll also reward you with the ability to cut down trees. If any of your oh boy, fighting HMs. Pokemon come across them, they oh. can cut them down and you'll be able to make your okay, way through so the thick forest. Okay, so it's not Macaroni. Good. Sadly, without Surf, there's not much you can explore on this side of the island. But if you're looking for a way back Still to Trickle Town, things. you can take the scenic route 3. It starts on Rubble Town Beach and will lead you right back to where you started. Just head around the coastline sticking to the old dock. You'll make your way back. Good luck out there, Challenger. Our battle meant a lot to me today. I'll never forget this battle. Who are you? Just like that, you have your first Pokemon coin. Blimey, your starter's grown stronger too. They look super close to evolving, but you might just have to wait a little longer for that. Mm. Sure enough, for now though, we're leaving. Usually, that is where the po Pokemon evolves between. Wow, what an interesting route! Even one this and whole two. Area used to be a port, but now it's just a cliffside walkway with rickety bridges and various winding pathways to take. Still, it seems like it could be home for some new Pokemon. On this route, you'll find the recurring Pokemon Psyduck and Munchlax like before, as well as possibly your last opportunity to catch Capon and Go Gopher. But there's still mm. one more wild <laughs> Pokemon that can be found exclusively on this route. This is Papoil, the balloon Pokemon. It looks ridiculous. This Pokemon can inflate itself and fly Delta stream. What? Fly into the atmosphere. <laughs> this thing has an like ability of However, I'd keep it away primal requaser. You have one because the Pokedex also says the Kinfisher love to eat them. It's sadly quite a weak Pokemon and hard to level up at this part of the story. It's the magic card of the region. I'm sure it'll have a cool evolution waiting. And isn't it great to see your team filling up? In fact, if you're training at a typical kind of pace and you're catching every Given that this thing seems right to be the magic card of the region. Catch it. Different Pokemon into your Pokedex. Oh wow! Let me know who you would have had to add into your team in the comments. Maybe one day you'll even see a legendary Pokemon. Who knows? It's like this is a Pokemon game or something. That's basically inevitable. Oh. Whoa! Hold on. What in the world was that? I shall call was it a tornado. Wait. I speak too soon? Taken. Oh hey, little champ. What are you doing? Standing there gawking? The wind blowing your stupid hair all over the place? If I controlled the power of the wind, I'd blow you far away from my island and into the sea right no, now. No, he has I that. I got Moxie's coin. Well, I got there before you. I looked up to Moxie for a long time. They visited and given talks at the trainer school sometimes. A true and noble Solympian. They're not from Solympia, though. Yeah, uh, about that. What are you talking about? Someone as cool as Moxie wouldn't be a stormer like you. That's it. I'm going to show you everything I learned from studying with oh them boy. right now. Well, it looks like Cass wants to challenge you. And who would you be to decline? <coughs> Let's battle. Go, Houndour. Oh, Houndour. Nice. Cass's first Pokemon is Houndour. And at this point in the journey, you should have lots of super effective moves against mm. it. So this Houndour is really just to get you warmed up. Free experience. <sighs> Fine. I choose you, Hip Hopper. Ah, it's Hip Hopper. It seems Cass's journey hasn't been too dissimilar to your own. Mm. Evolving Pokemon and training up. Oh, duh. I never know a rival that doesn't that have does their You think you're better than their me. First but I'm way ahead of you when it comes game. to coins. See? Although the original Ruby and Sapphire, you never fight the plan hope for when I was training up. And I've evolved my Pokemon into something you've never seen. Go, Fell Raptor! Whoa, now that's something different. This I isn't a script so like you would have expected. Cass's in, uh, cap on has instead evolved into well, the gym right whatever by this the is. Base it's a foul raptor, the base. foul Pokemon. And it's a flying poison type and can spit toxic at you while delivering a powerful new move called Poison Pack. This is like your regular pack attack, except it does additional damage if your Pokemon is poisoned. So that's why it was different. tells you that not much is known about why some Capon seem to evolve this way, and further research needs to be done. But what does that matter to you? You're in the Scary heat of heck. It's time to implement some new strategies and deal with Cass's Pokemon. <clears throat> and you want to use the grass app against it? The lesson that it is. It'll only it's make poison strong. flying type. Next time I'm at a coast fighting. like this, way, I swear my Pokemon and I will be throwing you back into the sea, Stormer. Oh boy. Unbelievable. Your Pokemon were able to defeat Cass's newly evolved Pokemon. And what's more unbelievable is that your starter Pokemon, well, it looks like they're about to evolve. Oh, boy. Glowing with light, but to see what they turn into next, well, you're going to have to wait oh. until next time on your journey in Pokemon. That's a good uh, cliffhanger. Gotta give him credit for that much, at least.
That was Thank cool. You, Glad to see them in the gym. Watching the series mm -hmm. so uh, Pokemon. Absolutely loving it. And Beat the crap out of the gym leader. And now we're going to get a Pokemon to evolve. And see the how her foul raptor was different. Or capped her was different. Oh cool. How nice. Later.